and welcome to my 150 subscriber special uh, and I know this is a few days short uh, not sure a few days um, late but I wanted to make sure um, it did stay at 150 mm -hmm. and it, uh, then go to like 149 for someone unsubscribed or something but anyway um, now originally I was planning on doing a, a my top 10 favorite videos that I made but um, when I was planning that, Mark Player did an interview with Philip DeFranco and it, uh, uh, they were talking about how um, uh, Mark Player was talking about how um, he doesn't really like to do um, you know, uh, subscriber special videos because he feels like you know, they're self-aggrandizing um, basically, ego-stricken and I sort of agreed with him and then uh, I recently had the idea to why not just like make a video talking about my favorite content creators on YouTube? So that's what I've done. I was originally going to do a top 10, but this it tended up being more of a top 12. Um, but anyway, uh, let's get into it. So, um, how many is there? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yes, at number 12, um, we have IBX Toy Cat. Um, now I do watch most of his videos and as you can see from the red bars, but for some reason the red bars doesn't appear on someone that's funny because I've um, uh, I've seen some videos in other um, Content creators channels that haven't got these red bars. I've definitely watched so um, He's not 100% reliable, but I do watch most of his videos um, And he does mostly like um, Minecraft news and uh, I've been trying to get caught up with his um, let's play by a, um, I get easily distracted and just forget sometimes. Um, and he does do some good videos and I do enjoy him, but, um, he's not the, f he's not the funniest. I do, again, I do enjoy his videos. Like, he wouldn't be in this list if he wasn't one of my favourite for one reason or another, but I do enjoy watching his videos and he does give some, uh, helpful uh, information and stuff. Uh, so yeah, um, if you like Minecraft, I would definitely suggest them out. At number 11, we have Spawnwave Media. Uh, I watch almost every video that he uploads. I, again, uh, I haven't seen, I don't really watch, I'm not a big live stream fan, so I don't watch um, the Spawncast. But uh, yeah, I, as you can see, I watched I've watched almost every video that he's uploaded, um, at least recently, so, yeah, uh, he's just like really good for gaming news, and uh, yeah, just a solid channel, um, and something he does I uh, quite like is, um, is um, comments of the day, and it, um, I was actually comment of the day, um once um uh, there was like um there was like a remake of um what was it perfect dark i think it was uh, announced or something there was a rare anyway it was a remake of a rare game announced uh, um and i made the comment um rare makes um uh, a remake of one of the old games leading to the possibility that banjo and kazooie might get remade me um don't do this, don't give me hope. And I think um, uh, in the uh, spawn wave after that, he actually was like, uh, yeah, let me just destroy one little help you have that hope for, like Banjo and Kazooie remakes you have there. Just like, snuff it out. Uh, but yeah, uh, definitely do enjoy his channel. And, you know, he goes, if you watch him, you'll be up to date on almost everything. Um, there's like a kind of a running joke that he'll make a video. Like talking about, um, or, um, uh, you, well, he'll make a video, you know, on that day, um, you know, spawn, he'll, he'll upload the news video that day, and then like an hour or two, um, after he uploads a video, Nintendo announces something, um, because that's happened a few times, um, so yeah, definitely enjoy Spawn Wave Media. Okay, now we're getting into the top 10. At number 10, we have... Oh, close that. We have Nintendo Life. Um, now, I don't watch every video that they make. As, 
Um, I, I usually watch them, but uh, didn't this time for some reason. Um, didn't watch that because I'm I, I'm already getting Metopia when I get paid, hopefully, and you know, it's like I already knew about them. So it's just like um, just really just videos I'm not super interested in, but yeah. Um, a lot of the videos that they do upload, I do watch. Um, and again, this is another uh, good source for uh, Nintendo news and uh, just like talking. And they go uh, more in depth into uh, X subjects than um, Spawn Rave Media. And yeah. And at the uh, last of like the news kind of guys, we have Philip DeFranco. Um, he's just one of my favorite sources of news. Like he doesn't really touch talk much about stuff uh, going on in the UK, so I really should get like more a good news source for like UK stuff. But um, I it's good just to like keep up on like what's going on in America mainly. But he does also do uh, international news, so. Yeah, uh, really just a good place to uh, keep on top of the news. And uh, what he does is he gives the news, so basically the facts that are, have been presented um, or what people have been presenting as facts and then give his opinion, um, which will often, um, well not often, but can, you know, uh, contradict what um, the facts have where have been given on the so he'll just he'll just like um donald trump's lawyer said this thing and they're full of shit you know stuff like that and i find him very central like he does lean left or right on certain subjects but he is very mm, you know centrist and uh you know he doesn't um, and he does try to like, um, he is a good source, um, like all the news sources I've recommended here, uh, they do like research everything to the best of their abilities and if they do get something wrong then they do always like make a video correcting what they've done wrong, or said wrong, so yeah. Um, that's another reason why I would definitely suggest, uh, these news sources. Um, now this is sort of going out of the news sources and, uh, into other stuff, so. Uh, Shea Frillish Productions, um, he does reviews of stuff, um, yeah, it's quite nice, I, he uh, um, has a few good jokes, he has his friend come on from time to time, yeah, just in some entertaining stuff, and uh, um, I really enjoy um, listening, watching like reviews and stuff like that because I like to get, like hear other people's opinions and stuff of things because then I, you know, um, they may notice something uh, that I didn't in a movie. Like I may think a movie is shit, but they may have just like notice like actually there, there's this like underlying, you know, this little thing here which actually doesn't make it super good but actually does help you know fix with my spell and then I do do like it and then I can go back to the movie re-watch it and then notice I'm just like okay yeah it does make this movie not perfectly or great but it does make it tolerable or stuff like that um so yeah all oh, tales of bossing say I don't know if that's the best avatar the last day bender episode or well, but it, it, off the top of my head, it probably probably is. Yeah, that's... How's uh, Sphenia Dragon 2? Yeah. Anyway. Um, on to the next one. Oh, yes. Beta 64. Now, I really love, like, uh, looking at the betas of games and sometimes even hardware, which it does. And it, well, dear, he hasn't uploaded in eleven months, which is sad because I really do enjoy this kind of stuff. Um, and I just really love to see. And yeah, you can uh, definitely can see here that some of these red bars are missing because I've definitely like watched um, 
What else? Yeah, I've, def I've almost definitely watched Smash Bros. Ultimate 1, so... Yeah, I, some of these are missing on Odyssey. But yeah, I really love, like... Uh, seeing how a game starts production, what it goes through, and how it goes through production, and how it t eventually comes to be the game that we know today. Um, so, yeah. Um, if you... You know, even if you haven't uh, tried this kind of thing yet, so I would definitely suggest checking out some of Beta 64's videos and seeing how some of your favourite games have, you know, become what they are today. Um, and if by some miracle, uh, I don't know the guy who actually, I don't know the name of the guy who does Beta six, did Beta 64, but if, if 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 you if this guy, I don't, sorry, I don't know your name, but if you by some miracle are watching this. Please upload more videos. I really miss your videos. Um, again, 11 months. I, I really miss them. Um, so yeah, on to the next one. Overly Simplified. Now, I really love history. And I have watched all of Overly Simplified uh, Simplified's videos multiple times. The Emu, Emu Wars was hilarious. <laughs> oh... But yeah, um, I just love history, and I think um, history is uh, one of the most important things because it's um, it not only um, it, it's a bit like with the beta thing. It not only shows how um, everything started and how it got here with the countries and everything, but it um, also explains why you know certain countries are the way they are, why. Um, says X country doesn't like Y country and I think and that even how language has come to be what it is and I definitely think that it is a, that history is probably the most important subject um, you can learn if you especially if you want to learn how you know things turn out the way the, the way they are um, and overly simplified you know is definitely um, a really good one. And fun fact, I'm not, um, I don't know this firsthand, but, uh, I do know that, um, if we go back here, yes, the American Civil War on Overly Simplified, it goes into it in more detail than the actual American school system, funnily enough. Like, these are just like an hour, it's just like two, almost half hour, videos that, that don't even take to look to one hour of content and it's like these go more apparently these go more in depth than the actual american school system the more you knew um but yeah Ooh. next is death battle um death battle i just these are just entertaining um Ah, it's really hard to say. I don't know whether my favourite part is the analysis of the characters and uh, the feats that they have done and how much, like, energy it takes to put out that amount of, like, energy and, uh, um, I don't know if that's my favourite part because it, that is really cool because it's just, like, um, uh, you know, you see these feats in the games and you're just like, oh, that's cool, but you don't actually, uh, really grasp how much energy energy and the power those feats actually take um i think this and i think this is really best illustrated when um uh when they did um danny phantom versus jake long and they sat down with the creator of danny phantom what's his name dan hardman yes they sat down with dan hardman and they, uh, they were and they were talking about the um golf court feat where we like annihilated a chunk of uh, dirt, and it, uh, um, and it, uh, they they asked, do you, did you really um, no have any idea how much energy it would take when you uh, animated that? And it's like, no, we had no idea. We literally just did it because we thought it looked cool. Um, and it, yeah, it's just like goes to show that even oh my yeah uh, goes to show that even. Um, the animators don't really grasp how much energy it takes for that 
for these things to happen. And it was like, these are um, videos that I have gone back to repeatedly. And even the death races were sort of fun and like mostly funny, but kind of fun uh, to watch. And um, yeah, I have gone back to these videos on multiple occasions to re-watch them. Um, uh, and it, uh, you know, just they're enjoyable. Oh yeah, here we are. Danny Phantom, Jake Long. Yeah, I believe the bloopers. Yeah, and that's uh, uh, your creature, Danny Phantom racing. Yeah, and um, that's it. They had like a live stream with Dan Hardman. Um. So yeah. Oh, and um. Uh, with the there was one where they did go over this and the champ and the champ did a double dab, and that's not something like the death battle guys wanted to put in. Uh, that's just like something the animators did, because uh, what I believe they do with death battle is like they get um, uh, outside animation studios to do the animations for them. They don't have their own in-house studio so far. At least that's how I think they do it. Uh, and the studio, um, now, um, they were talking about, um, in the Death Battle cast for this, uh, that it was a, that, you know, they do check in on the, I could be wrong, like, I could be misremembering what they say, because this was, like, uploaded a year ago now, and, uh, they were just, like, checking in on, uh, how the animation was going, and it was really difficult, because apparently it's really difficult to animate, um, four armed characters, and you couldn't, like, use the same model for, uh, like the same rigging for Goro and Machamp because uh, the second set of arms on both of them are uh, put differently like uh, Machamp sort of has a second set of arms growing out of his shoulders as you can see there and Goro sort of has a second set of arms growing out of his uh, side in, out of his like thighs so um, they had to sell like two different like rigs for them and um, they just ch they were just checking in one day and uh, they just saw my champ doing the double dab. It's like, okay, keep that in. Sure. But yeah, um, these are definitely uh, really entertaining and I just really enjoy um, learning about each char each of the characters more in depth, even like characters I didn't know about and characters I've loved. Um, and yeah, Definitely, you definitely get more about where, uh, out of these videos. Like, if you do know what the character is, like, um, I watched All Might vs. Might Guy before I watched My Hero Academia. I've still not watched um, Naruto. I believe that's where Might Guy's from, if I remember correctly. Uh, I tried watching it on um, on um, Funimation on my Switch, but it just keeps on giving me an error. Um, so, but uh, I watched it before I knew who All Might was, and I watched it after I knew who All Might was. And I did actually get more out of it knowing who All Might was than before I knew who All Might was. So, yeah. Anyway, I uh, don't want to talk about one uh, particular channel too much, so on to the next one Markiplier. The second, uh, the guy who mostly influenced this video. Um, apparently I missed just a prank bro, so I'll probably, uh, watch it after this, uh, after uploading this. I've not been watching the Resident Evil stuff just because I'm not super big in, into, like, horror stuff. Like, I did watch it, uh, I first discovered him watching his FNAF stuff, but I really enjoyed, like, his Uno stuff. Um, that's a bit weird. Anyway, um, I haven't enjoyed his papers, please. Um, should watch that. Uh, Room Smash. Oh yeah, that was, um, that was alright. The game didn't, there wasn't much Mark I could have done with the game, but he was fairly entertaining. So yeah. I definitely enjoy, you know, it's, it's just kind of funny. Um, I definitely enjoyed his, um, I don't know. Uh, where is it? Among, uh, yeah, Among Us here. Uh, I definitely enjoyed this Among Us videos. 
Nu är jag chefen igen. Yeah, uh, I definitely I start uh, I started watching his Five Nights at Freddy's videos. Um, that's when I first found him, but it wasn't during Five Nights at Freddy's. One, it was Five Nights at Freddy's two, not long before Five Nights at Freddy's three got released. So by the time I finished catching up with Five Nights at Freddy's one and Five Nights at Freddy's two, Five Nights at Freddy's three had just come out and was and he was started making videos on Five Nights at Freddy's three. Take a shot every time I say Five Nights at Freddy's. Yeah, I, I watched his Octodad stuff, Surgeon Simulator. Uh, I think I, I don't think I've seen his Rust stuff, but yeah, I've uh, seen a lot of his stuff. Uh, oh yeah, his Monopoly stuff and Raft stuff was good. I didn't really like Fiend with all Fire. Well, that was a bit boring, but it did have its moments. Um, oh, I watched his uh, Mac Play Review stuff. I watched Pogo Stock. Oh, where's the Unholy Trilogy? Yeah, Uno. That Uno stuff was funny. Fucking Barbara. Uh, but yeah, it's an Unholy Trilogy. Um, I think it was or something like that. Unholy Trilogy. Hold on. Markiplier uh, Unholy oh, uh, Unholy Trinity Yeah You ma'am um, I thought you had to like Yeah I thought you had a playlist with all three of them in Yeah you made a video called Meow Wolf yeah, Meow, Woof, Mew. I don't know. And for some reason they may they put them in backwards, but yeah. Uh, meow, Wolf and Mew were just like some of the dumbest but funniest things in his on this channel. Uh, call me Kevin. He is just constantly entertaining. What how did I miss that? You dear it. Um but yeah, as you can see, I've watched all. I watch all of his videos. Did I miss that? Hmm. Ah. But yeah, I at least try to watch all of his videos when he uploads them. Um, yeah, he's just fun. He's just funny and entertaining. Uh, and this, oh, and recently he did. He was doing like the, um, this GTA Five online stuff, and um, he used to do. And it was like roleplay stuff and it was like he used to do some old roleplay stuff and it was more kind of like he was the outlier where everybody was like kind of normal but he was like the one crazy guy but um in these um later um gta 5 stuff he, he sort of like being matched by the craziness of everybody else and it, and it just feels like he's found his pe found his people People who are equally as crazy as him, and I think this is when YouTube uh, doesn't really care to remember how long I've watched his videos for. But yeah, I've like um, I originally discovered him through his um, Sims for stuff, um, but I've watched all of his uh, Gene Mod RP stuff, I think, and you know the Harry Potter and the Star Wars. Uh, I think I watched all of this LA Noir stuff and VR chat and I don't think I've watched The Way Out. I watched the Wa Walking Dead season 1 and 2. I think I watched Detroit Becoming Human. I, I, I think that was just very forgettable. Uh, watched Sims Medieval. Yeah, watched GTA 5 RP. Harry, watched all the Harry Potter stuff. Harry Potter, Harry Potter, Deathly Hallows. Upward print, Chamber Secrets, Into a Long Walking Season se Walking Dead Season 3, Comedy Night. I don't think I watched all of his music, but I think I've seen most of it. But yeah, he's just a funny and really entertaining, and I've watched his entire Sims Sims Hall stuff at least two times now, I think, maybe three. Uh, oh yeah, Bad Cooking. Yeah, I can't forget that. 
Um, yeah, on to the next one. Uh, number two is the GT. Yeah, Game Theorist. Well, the initials is GT, but uh, the Game Theorist. I just find these really informative and enjoyable. And you can sort of just like extend this to food theory and film theory as well. Um, so, uh, they're associated with death battles, you know, gaining, completion, guiding, all that sort of uh, But yeah, uh, let's just put game theory, food theory, and film theory all in this one. Uh, Depending on what you like, these are just like really informative. Oh, not playlist. These are just like really informative and <laughs> just some really good time. Uh, I do know there are some people who don't, who, who aren't, aren't, aren't particularly a fan of like uh, the direction my father's gone because um, originally game theory was uh, um, more you know focused around the science of video games rather than the law and he just later on started making more and more videos based on the law of the video games and less and less videos based on law uh, but if you uh, more and more videos based on law and less and less videos based on the science of video games uh, but if you like the science of the video games like, like he used to do, there's always the science um, with What's his face? I forgot his name. I can't remember his name. Uh, anyway, um, there's always the science, which is actually a playlist, I think. Minecraft. Yeah, the science. Yeah, there's 110 the science episodes. And um, they're basically just like entirely focused on the science, no shit, of the video games. And um, I really, I really, my favourites are the lore, because I really love, like, the lore of video games, but the science, uh, is also quite, uh, entertaining, and, uh, I definitely watch it, watch them when they come out, um, but yeah, on to my favourite, uh, channel, and, um, this sort of had to be, like, a combination of channels, just because, if I did these as, as like each individual channel, they would make up most of this list, and it's just like I wouldn't like this. But this is like a group of channels. The Yogs Cast. Um, now I've watched the Yogs Cast to varying degrees. I've watched um, a lot of Lewis and Simon. I've watched uh, Gene Mod Trouble in Terrorist Town. Uh, I've not really watched Jingle Jam because then they're, again they're the live streams. I'm not much of a live stream guy. Um, I've watched a good bit of Gmod build off, but I've uh, been uploaded recently. Um, what else is uh, I've watched? Uh, I've mostly just watched the gameplay stuff, but um, if we go down, I've watched um, like Whale Lords. Um, Jaffa Factory. I, I've, I've started watching this Fell, but Shadow of Israel, Fell, but I never really finished that. Uh, yeah, Jaffa Factory. Um, uh, oh yeah, I watched Vault. Uh, Mooncrest, or I, I started watching Lewis and Simon, um, well the Yogscast in general, when Mooncrest was actually um, a thing. So that was actually the first um, series I watched to them that I was actually keeping up, uh, up to date in real time. Uh, I've seen a good chunk of their animations at least, I don't know how many. Off the top of my head. I really should watch some of their um, other stuff. Yeah, more Trouble in Terrace Town and uh, Gmod Build. Oh yeah, Hole Diggers, I remember that. Um, and the problem with the most of these other series is that they're only like a couple of episodes long and I, if I go back and watch videos I prefer to binge watch them. Oh, and the Trials series. Is Control F trials. Yeah, so there's trials of deputies, trials of scobles, and ah. 
I believe there was a search files for Santa Claus, but I think that was like a mini thing that I did. Well, I don't think it got its own playlist. But yeah, I, uh, I've i seen the trials um, a couple times. So, yeah. Uh, of course, where I... Hmm. How do you spell whale lords? Yeah, whale lords, right there. Oh yeah, Minecraft challenges, Corvax's Christmas cracker, isn't that? National Lots Files, um, I don't know. But yeah, I, I miss him. Like, he didn't do anything illegal, so I don't think he should have left, but maybe he just like disengaged from the community a bit. Not entirely. I don't remember Minecraft Kingdoms. But yeah, if Shin came back, I would be really happy. Because he just like, he was just fun. He's just straight up funny. He, he, made, he made some of the most memorable moments of the Yogg's cast and some of the funniest. Um, and Duncan, right. Duncan's one of my favourites. Half, half films have been entertaining. Uh, Spiffing Brit is really entertaining. Um, if you like Civilization, I definitely check out their Civilization stuff. Uh, Zoe, um, I remember the black. I really liked Zoe in the Black Rock Chronicles, but I don't think she really uploads videos on her own. And there's more. There's like um, we just search in here your cast. I think there's Yorks Cash Rivian, who I, uh, I've i watched a few of his series and really enjoyed his series. There's Kim, who I really enjoyed uh, Kim uh, back when she was doing stuff. Really, I, I actually haven't checked up in there in a while. Oh shit, I'm still subscribing. Yeah, she's not uploading regularly anymore. Yeah, she's been doing Among Us mostly. And I think that's sort of why, but it's just like, um, Among Us is a bit saturated, but Duncan, oh my god. Like, Duncan, I will fully admit, Duncan's videos are not as good as they used to be. Like, uh, if I would say, if I had to say when the peak of Duncan was, was after Duncan's lab. Um, there was also um, the apprentice that he did with Kim, which was on her channel, uh, I believe. Hold on. Apparent. Yeah, there's no apprentice on Duncan's channel. I think that was entirely on Kim's channel. Um, but it was after The Apprentice, and I would say it was probably, the Duncan's Peak was probably, ooh, yeah, somewhere around here, somewhere around the start of Flux Buddy Season 1, I would say would be the peak of Duncan, uh, because he was, like, yeah, doing Flux Buddies, South Park, Stick of Truth, Hardcore Skyblock, which I don't really go back to much because it was, it's not really the more entertaining of these, but um, Blast Off, Cornerstone. I've watched Blast Off multiple times. Um, Flux Buddy Season 2, To the Core, Flux, Bu Flux Buddies, sorry, Flux Buddies. Um, uh, Crazy Craft, Factorio, YOLO, uh, Project Ozone, like these were like the best Duncan videos and yeah this is where it starts to dip a bit. Now at no point would I say Duncan was, has ever made bad content but um, for Forever Stranded was a bit boring. Lost Souls 
same problem, it was a bit boring. Uh, Caveman, again, these three were just a bit boring. They, they weren't as uh, funny or chaotic as Project Ozone, To the Core, or uh, Blast Off, because these are uh, basically sequels to them, because there's like sort of like a mod pack, like storybook where you get basically get from point A to point B and you know, get to the end of the mod pack and stuff. Sucks Buddy Season 4 was, you know, it was, it was good. Not, uh, I still say Season 2 was my favourite and I would probably say Season 3 was the weakest of them, of them all, but Season 4 just wrapped everything up in a nice bow, except for one thing back from Season 1. Uh, and I actually made a video on this after re-watching Season 1 once, but, um, when it was in Season 2, sorry, in Season 2, um, they found a diary from Lionel Lecter, the main, like, bad guy of the season. And that he referred to somebody as Master. Now, how we know this is definitely Lionel is because, one, Specimen 5 hadn't been created at this point in time. And two, Specimen 5 doesn't refer to Lionel as Master. He refers to Lionel as Boss. Uh, she refers to Lionel as Boss. So, um... <sighs> It's just like, who was Lanable referring to as Master? So that's definitely something I hope Duncan does something with in the future, but I very much doubt it. Um, but yeah. Yeah, this was the last one. Uh, Project Ozone 3 was the last one with Shin. Which, it, which is sad because yeah. Sky Factory with, and what again? I wouldn't call these bad, um, but without Shin, they lose a bit of personality because that's what Shin brought to these series. Duncan and Lewis brought their expertise, um, you know, and just you know their skill in the game. But Shin brought that trolley personality and you know just he saw just like he was just funny he just kind of gave the series a bit of life and now he's gone they, they saw they're just sort of lacking i still keep up with these with like duncan and everything but you know with boba Pegwin and ravs it's still and duncan is i still prefer the time when it was just duncan shin and lewis and again, not to say these aren't bad, they do have their moments where they're, you know, funny and they do, and they are still like friends and everything, they, they work well with each other, but it's just like, they just don't have the chemistry of Duncan, Lewis, and uh, Shin. Like, again, uh, it's, it's not my, uh, my favourite combination of Yogg's cast is um, Duncan and Kim. They're, that's, they, those two have made my favourite series in the entirety of the Yogg's cast. Uh, second would be Duncan, Lewis and Shin. Third would be Lewis, Duncan and uh, Simon. And fourth would be Shin and the uh, Sips. Um, and then Hatch Films after that. But I Again, I do enjoy the new stuff but just not as good as the old stuff. Um, it, it's a bit like the reverse of that meme. You know that meme uh, where it's like I'm glad I grew up with this but this is so much better. It's like I'm glad that I've got this but this was just so much better. And it, yeah. I, I, I do just miss the times where this is like Shin, Lewis and Duncan just playing a super hard mod pack, Lewis raging out, Shin trying to spawn rockets in to go to the moon, um, and Duncan destroying the rockets and... Oh... I, I, I don't know. I, I just think... I just think Shin should come back and um, 
Duncan and Shane and Lewis should have their own little series going on with it. Just like, like I, I, I wouldn't mind like um, paired Ravs and Boba and Duncan like having like a more easy mod pack going on. But I would love it if like Shane came back and Shane and Lewis and Duncan had like a mod pack where it was just like ball, like ball bustingly hard. Just like the good old days you know, where <laughs> where she would blow everything up with, with fucking chance cubes. Oh, I'm getting nostalgic. Um, but yeah. Anyway, those are my favorite content creators on YouTube. Now, I'm not really. A oh wow I've been doing this for forty minutes I should have done this as a live stream my god oh uh, I'm not really I really just consume most pretty much well, almost all of my stuff content creator generated stuff on YouTube um I don't watch Twitch because I have like um uh I, I just don't like how they treat the creators on Twitch especially like um they they banned like. Dr. Disrespect, then they slandered his name all over the internet, but still refused to like give give like solid statements on why they banned him because then now we actually leave leave them open to um, a lawsuit because they did, they had no real reason, no real good reason, they just uh, wanted to make us money. Um, so that's why I don't watch Twitch. TikTok well, there's some good stuff on there. It's still cringy as fuck. Um, and Facebook is just like... I, I just use Facebook for talking to my friends. I don't want to use it for live streaming. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video I do. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed me rambling about what content creators I like. And... If you see content creators I'm subscribed to or that I've liked their videos and they're not in this list, that doesn't mean I don't like them. It just means these are my favourite. These are the people that I watch daily or I'll go and and slash or I go back and watch their older series again and again. At slash and uh, I and or I um, just we Re uh really enjoy this stuff. I, I, these are just like the content creators I enjoy the most. Anyway, my stomach is growling at me, t telling me to go get something to eat. Uh, um, so yeah, I'm gonna go do that now. I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye bye.